Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Uh, well, I just got done feeding some of the animals and doing a little bit cleaning. Um, I had a request from someone to see frogs. So I, I do have a few frogs in here. Let me see if we can get in there. Let me see, there we go. There, there's one of the Cuban tree frogs. These are a non-native invasive species and a lot of times they're collected out of Florida because they don't belong there. And then they're brought into the pet trade. So I have three of them. And let me see here. Frogs are not always the easiest thing to keep, but they are good. And then I'll have to turn this way and see if we can get this little guy in here. I don't know if you can see right here. This right there is a dart frog. Some people refer to them as poison dart frogs, but they kind of are toxic because of what they eat. And so when you bring them into captivity, I give them a lot of fruit flies, much to the dismay of my husband, because fruit flies are his nemesis. Um, and, but that's what they eat, and when they eat the fruit flies, they are no longer toxic. So we have that, and let me see here. I think the giant, the pixie frog, the giant bullfrog that we're weighing every week, is hiding right now, so I'm not gonna disturb him. But if you show up on Monday, Monday we're gonna do a weigh-in because uh, it's growing quite rapidly and it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. So today, what do I have here with me? I have poppy seed. And I'm gonna put this down here on the floor. Poppy. And poppy is going away. Hang on a second here. There we go. There's Poppy. Poppy. Here, meet the people. You are just so hyper, hyper, hyper. So Poppy Seed is a giant Flemish rabbit. We'll come over here. There we go. So it's a giant Flemish rabbit. And it's about eight months old right now. He's about eight months old. And this morning he weighed in at 12 pounds. And he could still get a little bit bigger yet. So I know I can get him over here. He loves banana chips. I got some banana chips here. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera again. Sorry about this. It's kind of hard to do on this little go around and around. I'm gonna spin it over here where Poppy is. Okay, here Poppy. Poppy, you're gonna smell the camera. Come here. I'm gonna bring you back over here. Here you go. Look at that. Loves banana chips. But this is kind of a new room for Poppy. I usually don't bring Poppy in here. Hang on a second. And it got a little bit goofy here. So I have these animals for the programs that I do for schools and clubs. Hang on a second here. Come here, Poppy. Come here, baby. Oh, you gotta see some big giant rabbit feet. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Can you just believe the size of those feet? He's such a cool bunny. So, Poppy, uh, I weighed this morning and Poppy weighed 12 pounds. And Poppy C could probably get maybe another three pounds on him by the time it's done growing. Yeah, but he's a good, good bunny. We'll try to move it over here so you can see a little bit better. And move down. There we go, because Poppy's so fun. 
yeah, puppy loves those. He's a pretty good bunny. I never thought of myself as being a bunny person, um, but this one came up, a friend recommended, and has just really been a sweetheart of a bunny. But it's kind of funny, he can uh, go on the back of the sofa and then he likes to jump down and land right on your stomach and push all of the air out of you. But then he'll cuddle and just lay there with you for a few hours. So he's really a nice cuddle buddy and a lot of bunnies aren't that way. But I give Poppy Seed. There we have some dandelion and some dill and cilantro today for a little bit of a snack. I don't really give them carrots. Um, carrots can actually cause them to get a little bit gassy and not feel well. So they like the carrot tops and you can give them that. So I've actually considered changing the way that I grow things in my garden and I'm going to, so you can see all those cute little pebbles there, the little poops from the little things here. Can you come back in here, Poppy? Oh yeah, your sweetheart. Yes, I took a bunny. Look at the size of those ears. Can you believe it? So these ears, not only are they good for hearing, but I don't know if you're able to see that they have blood vessels that go through the ear and that helps them when they're regulating their heat. So if they get too hot, as the blood flows through the ears, that heat is released and helps to keep them a little bit cooler because uh, these rabbits can overheat. They were originally bred, there we go, in Belgium. And because of their size, they were intended for, for meat and fur, but they also make a really, really good pet. They are typically litter box trained, except when you're not in the room with their litter box. There goes Tilly. So to do the programs and to have these animals, I am USDA licensed and I get surprise inspections two times a year, which means if I'm not home, they call me and I have 30 minutes to get home so that they can talk to me and see the animals and check on their health. So, which they, they really do do that. Um, I've had to talk with my inspector as, I'm like, I'm on my way home from work. I'm, and so I, I talk to him and stuff, um, but, but it's, Pretty cool. Let me see some people are chiming here. Good morning, Sandy. Oh, my mom's watching. Thanks, mom. And hi, Liz, and Anna Marie, Sarah Jo, and Kathy, Liz. Oh, very good. It's so nice to see everybody. So I do want to tell you about tomorrow because tomorrow I think we might have a surprise birthday party. Uh, two of my my animal ambassadors, Bucky and Jelly Bean turn one year old tomorrow and I think we're gonna kind of make a happy birthday party in here. Uh, if you don't know the Sprout Happy Birthday song, look for it because I like that one much better than the uh, the regular one. And if you guys want to sing to the animals, you may do so too as well. Let me see here. So one of the things that I did for this room is I took the closet door off let me see if I can turn it over here. Oh, the other way. See, I turned my closet, I took the closet door off and I have heat lamps and UVB lamps in there. And the floor can get to be almost 100 degrees so that if the turtles want to get in there, the tortoises want to go in there, they can go in there and sun themselves. And they really like that over there. I can see that the rabbit's in there and I don't know why the rabbit's in there because it's pretty warm. So these are some of the things that I do to accommodate my animals. So when we really think about pets, we, uh, whoops, hang on a second here. We have, the, we have pets because we like the companionship and everything. Uh, the, the animals that I have, they're not really companion animals, but they are animals that can help uh, teach people about them. Here we go, here's Tilly coming back. Yeah, Poppy is very cute. go there's Tilly the other day when it was nice I did take Tilly out for a little bit of a walk to get some sunshine and she really seemed to like that she even walked across the street with me with her there was no traffic gee I wonder why 
so yeah. As you can see here, Poppy's been making little pebbles around here. I'll move those little pebbles. Uh, on, on a good note, you know what I found out? Uh, the KV poop for my animals, my animal ambassadors, and my uh, my bunny. Apparently, it's really good for the garden, so I've got lots of fertilizer. What are you doing, Tilly? Oh, my Tilly. So how's everybody handling the quarantine? Are you doing all, all good? Oh, thanks, Kathy. I'm glad you're gonna birthday with Jelly Bean. Don't forget Bucky. I can't believe it's been one year. They, um, they were born on the 20th and they are Gosh, pretty much ready to go the day that they are born, which is, which is amazing. So I got them when they were four days old. And we'll bottle feed them. I spoil them, I kind of still do that. They really like it. So I'm gonna show you something else here we've got, which most people don't have. How many people actually have a bin of crickets? Yeah, believe it or not, that is all crickets in there. So, I don't know if you guys can see. And they really don't jump out of here. I do have a lid on it, but they don't jump that high. I never thought that I would have a bin of crickets, but for all of my animals that I have, I go through 1,000 crickets every two weeks. And so I and many of the other people that do the same thing that I do are very dependent upon a show that happens on the first Saturday of the month and the third Sunday of the month called the Scott Smithall Animal Expo. So we go out there and there's a lot of other uh, people that breed animals and sell the animals where where I've gotten some of these um, and it's really nice because when you're going through them versus a pet store you can kind of follow the line you know how they've been taken care of you can get really good information on them because if they've been able to breed them they're doing something right and then you have the contact with them if you need if you have any problems you can talk to them so it's been really really a great thing to be able to go to this so the first saturday of the month the third sunday of the month uh, currently it's at the dupage county fairgrounds but right now it has been canceled um, for the meantime until they say it's all clear again to have those gatherings because they usually get over a thousand people for uh, one of these shows so we'll have to see, but the good thing is to be able to get all of my feeders, uh, the, the crickets and things that I need. I have relationships with all of those people and I'm able to, to meet up with them in different places to be able to get the food that I need for my animals, but it's kind of difficult. Um, the other place that I go is the fruit market that's really close to my house. Uh, I mean, where else can I go and buy dandelion? Jewel doesn't usually carry dandelion. So it's really nice to be able to get all of the different greens that I need for the animals. Let me see here, and we've got Gladys is starting to come over and investigate here. There's Gladys. Don't go down. There you go. Now Gladys is kind of interesting because for uh, some tortoises, they like, oops, we cannot root, I didn't. Okay. I did not rotate. I don't know what was going on there. Um, I'm just going to tip it and hold it here. So some tortoises like protein. Oh yeah, she's just going to go right in there for the rabbit. She's going to try and see what's that, what's in there. Tilly's going to go, hey, what's going on over there? She's going to try it. Going to try some of Tilly's stuff? or poppy seeds. Poppy seed I give, that's the dill, cilantro, and dandelion. But it looks like Tilly may be trying to get some of it. I didn't want to scratch. You should show everybody how you wiggle your butt because it's really cute. I'm not gonna do it, just gonna lay down in the food. All right, 
So that's kind of it for today. Um, like I said, tomorrow we'll have a birthday party. So I hope you all tune in and, and see us. Everyone, stay well, stay safe. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.